it's Erica, and I hope you guys are doing great out there. Today, I'm going to review my top 15 favorite products of 2015. These are all items that I consider like can't live without things. All the products are fashion and beauty related, but I didn't restrict myself to like a certain number per category. I literally just thought of my favorite things off the top of my head, and uh, my head, my one head, <laughs> one head. I only got one head. I will include links to everything down below in the description bar in case you're interested. So let's get on to it. So in no particular order, my first favorite of 2015, this should come to no surprise to all of you, would have to be my street level reversible tote bag in black and cognac. I think this is the most featured item on my channel throughout 2015. I had it in so many different lookbooks. I talked about it a bunch. It is one of my favorite, most versatile, like functional bags that I own. I chose the black and brown just cause it matches with everything. It can last all year round. I love it so much. I'm actually gonna buy my second one in a light pink taupe color for spring and I'm really excited to get it. Definitely check this out if you're in need for an everyday tote bag. It is the bomb. My second favorite of 2015 is more of like a category. I got really into old navy jeans this past year. And you guys know I'm completely obsessed with old navy. Old navy should just be like a favorite by itself. But if I had to narrow down a specific category, I was really impressed and bought a bunch of old navy jeans this year. Two of my ultimate favorite old navy jeans, it would have to be the boyfriend's skinny ankles and the jeggings. The jeggings just because I wear them so often, they are the most comfortable things to wear. And the old navy boyfriend jeans just because I've tried designer jeans, all types of brands, and the old navy boyfriend jeans are still the only ones that fit me exactly the way I want them to. They come in petite sizes, they're the perfect amount of bagginess, they have great washes. So yeah, those two would have to be my top favorite out of the old navy jeans category. But overall, I've never gotten a bad pair of jeans from them, super satisfied, great quality, great price. Favorite number three, you guys have seen this multiple times too. I have to go with the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser and Ultra Repair Cream. I got these two pretty early on in the year and I didn't have too many expectations for them, but it is one of my go-to products for all year round. We all make little adjustments to our skincare during the year and the seasons, but this is one of like the tried and true products that no matter what time I wear it, it's always consistent, it's always reliable, and it always makes my skin feel great with no irritation. These are one of my favorite gifts to give. They're great for sensitive skin or anyone that has skin on their bodies. <laughs> favorite number four, let's stay in the beauty category. I would have to pick my Becca Skin Perfecting Shimmering Powder. I've got the color Moonstone and I just got the Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. I'm so excited because they're always sold out in the store. These are my ultimate favorite highlighters. I actually was never really into highlighting until I found these products. They were that amazing. I think these are probably like the top most famous, highly rated highlighters. And it's because they glide on so well. Like they just melt in your skin. It provides the most beautiful, like luminous highlight. Another great thing I love about it is that it lasts forever. I got this Moonstone one, like, you know, at the very beginning of 2015 and I just hit pan on it. it makes me feel like the investment was so worth it because I love it, I use it every day and it's really gonna last um, a really long time. Favorite number five, I've got my Lay and Go Cosmetic Organizer. Basically what it is, is like a giant, like elasticized shower cap that fits all of your cosmetics, beauty products, hair products, anything you wanna put in there. And it keeps everything in just one organized spot. And whenever you open it, all of the items are in one singular layer so that you can access them really quickly. And the cleanup literally just takes this and you're done. <laughs> this guy has literally cut my packing time in half. I'll just open my two lay and goes, throw my beauty products in one, and throw my hair products in the other, cinch them both up, throw it in my bag, and I'm ready to go. This compared to a traditional cosmetic bag where you literally have to dig to get to the stuff on the bottom, I mean, it's just a night and day difference. A must have for the person on the go. Moving on to favorite number six, I have to say I had a extremely <laughs> sick obsession with the Bandit's Denim shorts by the brand One Teaspoon. One Teaspoon is an Australian brand and they just make the most amazing, unique, distressed denim pieces. And their bandage denim shorts that I became obsessed with um, come with a nice rolled cuff. They're kind of low slung, a little bit more relaxed and baggy. I literally just like gave away all my other denim shorts and I'm like, this is the 
like denim shorts for me forever. I love them so much that I actually bought them in four different washes and I've got my fifth pair on the way. I think I might become a collector of these shorts. I love them so much. They are a little bit pricey, that's the thing. They are like around $100, so I try to find all of these just like on super sale whenever it's just like a discontinued color or wash. And they're just a great option if you want a more grungy, relaxed, boho look. Lucky favorite number seven. I'd have to go with this eyeliner. This is a pencil eyeliner from the brand Bonicos. This is the Natural Kajal Eyeliner Pencil in black. And I got this as a gift in a beauty swap video I did with Vlog with Kendra earlier in the year. This pencil is so inky black. It stays on all day. It glides on so smoothly. And I use this literally on a daily basis. I loved it so much. I completely used up the one that Kendra got me and I got um, three more online. I was so surprised that it was like a drugstore price. So I was really happy, which is why I got multiple ones. Great find. I will be using it for many years to come. Obviously, because I bought multiple ones, I'm gonna be using them, but. <laughs> Moving on to favorite number eight, I would have to go with my military jacket and military vest that I got at Nordstrom this year. The vest is from the brand Plione and the jacket is from the brand Press. As you can tell, I am obsessed with everything like military, safari, utilitarian style and color scheme. I really love these two because they do fit me perfectly. I want it like a go-to vest and a jacket that I could throw on any outfit and it just becomes an instant awesome look. This vest was really special because the color green was a little bit more vibrant than I normally see. You have an elasticized waist to give you a little bit more shape. And then this guy was like a very perfect, relaxed, layerable type of piece. It wasn't really thick and heavy. You know, I wanna wear this sometimes during like warmer weather, so I didn't wanna be restricted to a really heavy jacket. Definitely love these two. You guys probably saw this a lot during the last year. I consider these guys like instant outfit makers. These are so timeless. Moving on to favorites 9 and 10, let's talk about my two favorite shoes of 2015. I can honestly pick like a lot more, but I had to like restrain myself because we'd be here all day. I don't know how a girl with six toes on each foot took so long to buy a dang pair of Birkenstocks. Like literally every traditional like pair of thong or gladiator sandals, like my six toe is always hanging off over the edge. It's so embarrassing, but I wised up and I finally bought my first pair last summer and I absolutely love them. I wore them pretty much every day since I got them during the warm weather and there is just nothing like it. The footbed is amazing. It just conforms to your feet. It gives you so much support and I actually got really lucky. I know a lot of people have a hard time breaking in at Birkenstocks. It's like the most painful thing ever like walking on a bed of nails. But for me, I just like put them on and they felt amazing from day one. These are great. Get them if you have wide feet and yeah, I got nothing else to say. Favorite number 10 would be my other favorite shoes. These are the Franco Sarto Granite Booties. I feature them in my fall shoe guide, and I think a lot of you guys actually love them too. These are probably some of the most comfortable booties I've ever purchased. The color is so spot on. I've been looking for ones exactly like these, and I can't believe God created them just for me. I love these because they have actual double zippers, which is something I've never seen before. You can really get in and out of them really easily. It has amazing arch support. It's kind of low slung, so it shows a little bit more skin. <laughs> and I just love the fact that the color matches with everything. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's a perfect taupe, and the leather is just scrumptious. If it can't get any better, they've actually been on sale for like months now. They're normally like over like $115, but they've been on sale for like 80 bucks for the longest time. If you're still on lookout for an awesome everyday low heel booty, you gotta check these out. You're welcome. <laughs> Favorite number 11, it would have to be my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. And I also got the matching number 12 eyebrow and spoolie um, brush to go along with it. So for an under $20 product, I think it's only like 18 bucks. This is such an amazing investment. I feel like I am the last person on this entire planet to try the Dip Brow. This is such a, uh, you know, like a life-changing product. And I I've been using it every day since I got it. I finally hit 
Actually, I didn't finally hit. I've been <laughs> scraping the bottom for a long while now, just to be a testament of how much I love this guy. There has just been no other eyebrow product that has actually kept my hairs in place, has filled in all the sparse areas, and just given me just the best brows of my life best brows of my life. What else more can I say than that? And I highly recommend this one too. It's just got the most perfect like thin eyebrow angled tip along with an amazing spoolie that can comb the most gnarliest of hairs in place. I am definitely a lifer on the dip brow. Moving on to number 12. This is kind of like an obscure one, but my number 12 favorite would be the joyous.com site. This site I discovered this year and I've pretty much watch their videos or check their site out like on a daily basis. It's like a part of my everyday morning routine. I really love all the products that they curate. I've gotten so many amazing like joyous branded things. Some of my favorite things have been my black hobo bag. I also got lots of different clutches like this rose gold one, these envelope clutches. I got my makeup acrylic storage case there, a couple of pieces of clothing. Like I just love everything on their site. So yeah, it's definitely become one of my like frequent shopping destinations, so love them. Favorite number 13, which is my lucky number. I was born on Friday the 13th, yeah explains a lot. It would have to be my very first Tory Burch bag. This is the Robinson Double Zip um, Satchel, and I fell in love with it instantly. I had been wanting a Tory Burch bag for a really long time. Problem was, it was like over $500, and I was like, mm, not worth it. So I basically kind of waited for a couple months until it went on super sale during Black Friday, and I got it for like over 50% off. It's got the most gorgeous, supple, like buttery leather. You've got a nice crossbody, um, messenger strap so that I could wear it on the side if I don't want to keep this in my hands and yeah it's just it's just my little baby it's very sentimental because like my first Tory Burch bag I know that sounds totally freaking stupid first world problems but you get what I'm saying this was something that I held up for and I finally got it before it sold out and it just means a lot to me so thank you Tory Burch my 14th favorite would have to be the simple micellar water it was the first time I personally tried micellar water or any of these like cleansing and toning all in one type of products. It has become an everyday part of my skincare routine and I cannot live without it anymore. This guy is awesome because it's a drugstore price, has no harsh perfumes or chemicals and never irritates my skin, which I really love. And it's just a great alternative if you don't have time to wash your face. You can use this to get all the grime off of it. It could take off eye makeup remover. It's just an amazing multitasking um, liquid that does way more than just a Chick Bull toner does. So, love it. And we finally arrived to the last favorite of 2015. This is a product I discovered later in the year. This would have to be the Alex and Annie jewelry brand. Alex and Annie make the most amazing jewelry and it's kind of like the modern day charm bracelet. That's what I like to call it. Their jewelry is so unique because it actually expands and contracts to fit your wrist perfectly or your necklace. Most other products are all adjustable. So for someone like me that has really like scrawny extremities. I need something that actually fits like my petite hands. So I really love the fact that they're so customizable, not only in the size, but also in all of like the charms and stuff. You have so many different charms and different meanings. And it's just a, not only a really great gift idea, but a really like sentimental piece of jewelry that you can keep for yourself. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in to my 15 top products of 2015. Again, I included links to all the items down below in the description bar in case you're interested. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed today's video. Were there any favorite products that you couldn't live without in 2015? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to read them. I am so bummed that it's the first week back at work. I've been on such vacation mode. So I am right there with you guys suffering at work this week. I hope you guys are still having an amazing 2016 so far. I love you guys to death and I'll see you next Sunday for some fun active wear fashion. So make sure to stay tuned. Love you guys to death and I'll see you next week. Bye.